Let's look at document mode. This is a more complex editor and it allows you to create more complex documents that save as uh, Word files with a docx uh, extension and you can save them by clicking this button here. Okay, so um, there is uh, two aspects to this uh, screen and uh, on the left side there is this vertical bar with a uh, gray background and uh, this is where the document structure displays and uh, to the right there is the detail view in which you can see the the details of whichever element on the document structure is selected at any given time and uh, let's uh, see a brief example of this i'm going to pretend to create a uh, short ebook okay very short ebook for purposes of this tutorial this is the title of my ebook next this is the subtitle Next, John. Next, D. Acronymize D. Undo. Acronymize D. Next, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Next, mywebsite.com. Next, some clickable text. Next, my username. Next, some domain name.com. Add chapter. This is the title of my chapter. Next, this is the subtitle of my chapter. Add blog. I am going to create a block now, and uh, this block it is destined to be a paragraph, period. In order to indicate to Speech2Text Pro that I want this to be a paragraph, comma, I will state paragraph at the very end, period. Paragraph. Previous, this is the title of the paragraph. Next, next, this is a footnote underneath a paragraph, period. Previous, bold, indicate, add block, and now, comma, I'm going to create a table, period. But I can't have this text in the table, so I'm going to delete it and populate this text box with appropriate data, period. And at the end, I'm going to state table to indicate to speech to text pro that this is indeed a table, period. Delete everything. Monday semicolon, Tuesday semicolon, Wednesday semicolon, Thursday, period. 1.23 semicolon, 2.34 semicolon, 3.45 semicolon, 5.67, period. Previous, this is the title of the table. Next, next, and this is an optional footnote underneath the table, period. Previous, table. Add block. I'm now going to create a chart, period. Once again, comma, I'm going to delete this text because a chart accepts a specific type of format, period. And once again, comma, I'm going to state chart at the end, period. Delete everything. Michael, 1.23, period. Lisa, 4.46, period. Jason, 1.13, period. Debbie, 3.46, period. David, 3.22, period. Marisa, 2.78, period. This is going to be an optional label for the chart. Chart. Previous, this is going to be a tape. Delete last word. Title for the chart. 
previous, and this is going to be an optional footnote to show underneath the chart period. Okay, so at this point, I can go back and um, make any further enhancements, such as um, modify the format of the title, okay, change the size of the font, change the family, uh, apply um, some other rules, perhaps, you know, I'm going to create this, uh, let me do this on the subtitle, I'm going to change the color to, let's say, red, okay, um, and, um, yeah, and um, I can also add pictures wherever appropriate, so I'm going to add this picture. And uh, next, I'm going to click this vertical bar here that reads Tree View to launch Word. Okay, so let's do this. Okay, you can now see the date. Okay. One thing to be aware of is that um, you can only have one session of uh, Word open. So if, um, if you have Word open and you try to click this uh, again, it is going to crash the app. But not to worry because this is going to be saved. If you close the app, this is going to be saved. Um, okay, and uh, let's, uh, let's prove this. I'm going to close speech text Pro now and uh, relaunch the app. Okay, the whole thing is saved. And you can also save your work temporarily by clicking the Save button. And uh, it is going to save as a file with a DAT extension. And this is a format that only speech text Pro understands. Okay, so let me click Save. And I'm going to now erase the content and click Open and go to the last uh, DAT file. Okay, so the whole thing has been recovered. Okay, uh, anything else? So yeah, um, so this was the uh, document mode and it allows you to create structured documents. You can create a whole ebook actually in this uh, document mode. And uh, by the way, one thing I didn't show you was navigation through voice commands. Okay, so let's let me activate this again. Down, 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 up, up, up. Okay, so you can basically use the uh, up and down voice commands to navigate up and down respectively in this uh, document structure. And uh, if you want to jump from one text field to the next, you, you, you stayed next at the beginning or previous, as you might have seen during the tutorial. And uh, these are voice commands that appear in this section, okay, under navigation, I believe. Yeah. And these are... This is another category. So book related and navigation, they are categories that list or that display well in uh, document mode, but do not appear in um, the simple note mode because they are irrelevant, okay? There's no navigation here and there's no, um, you know, you can't form chapters and blocks and so on, okay? So yeah, these are the three types of elements you can, uh, you can see in this uh, document structure. So one of them is book, the other is chapter, and the other is block. However, you can have seven different types of blocks, including paragraph, number list, bullet list, multi-list, table, chart, and picture. Okay? And all of this, by the way, is explained thoroughly in the um, in this tutorial or this uh, demo. So um, this is a different demo than the one that's in node mode, and uh, be sure to play both demos as they illustrate usage of voice commands in the respective modes, okay? This is the title of my book. Next, this is the subtitle. Next, John. Next, M. Acronymize M. Next, Q-U-V-E-N-Z-H-A-N-E. Next, mywebsite.com. Next, some clickable text. This is the title. Okay. So, <clears throat> pardon me.